today we are doing some research it's motivated by the question where will be the last cold places i'm all right here this is um, on the eastern panhandle of west virginia it's the cool spring nature preserve um, this is bullskin run um, which happens to be a karst geology type stream and um, it seems to be pretty resilient to um, air temperature changes. Um, the electrofishing backpack is used to sample stream fishes and what you do is you wear the backpack that holds the battery and it sends electricity from the anode, which is the probe that you hold in your hand, back to the cathode, which is the tail that runs behind you. And that field of electricity shocks with any fish that's within that zone and that just stuns them for a temporary period of time and then you can go and net them, put them in a bucket and then observe their size and species later on. This is a really special stream because this is a stream loaded with groundwater in what we call a karst terrain, which is to say that there's a lot of rock contact underground. These are large aquifers and this stabilizes the stream flow. It stabilizes the stream from droughts and floods, and it also stabilizes the temperatures. As we know, air temperatures increase. And the interesting part about this research project is that we're finding some places are responding to that air temperature increase and other places aren't, or at least they're not responding as quickly. So that gives us resiliency on the landscape. A species called checkered sculpin has been recognized by ichthyologists for several decades, but it's still a mystery to the public at large. And so this is interesting to us because this species is only found in the coldest places. It needs cold water and it needs stable flow. So this is important because it can tell us about where places are changing and where they're remaining intact. They're a cold water specialist, which means they're an indicator species. So in sites like this, if we stop seeing them, we know there's a real issue. So the, what we're seeing is checkered sculpin are the most abundant fish in this stream right here, which is important, but it makes sense because they do quite well where they can persist. I mean, this is a story about discovery and it's a story about how what, you know, what we're learning is really at the forefront of understanding the, the life that's all around us. So we're, we're really happy to be part of that. Big checkered. Thank you.